Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me, my name is MinecraftMLGPig and today I will show you how to build your very own binary calculator in Minecraft I will show you how it works and also I'll teach you some basic stuff about the binary system if you don't already know So I'll see you guys later Binary numbers are just another way of counting, for example 1, 2, 3, obviously it's a little bit different but the concept is this uh, it's used in uh, computers and softwares and stuff like that so if you mess up with those you'll always find by ones and zeros uh, yeah because the binary number is just formed by, uh, binary numbers are just formed by ones and zeros and uh, yeah again ones and zeros you will find them everywhere if you're messing up with computer stuff because um, because uh, they can mean a lot of things they're not just another way of counting for example uh, also in redstone you use them uh, to indicate uh, redstone stuff that's on or off for example this redstone lab right now I will give it a 1 because it's on while here it's a uh, it's a 0 because it's off and uh, yeah if you look at some schematics of some basic gates or logic gates or whatever you will always find redstone torch with a 1 or a 0 next to them uh, to indicate that's powered or not powered and uh, yeah okay so now let's uh, see how to build it and how it works basically a binary calculator in minecraft is formed by this cell or unit uh, and uh, this unit itself is a calculator but it's not really powerful it can get only to free uh, so it's not a lot but if you put more of these uh, next to each other, uh, it will be more powerful. For example, once I built one that had 50 of these next to each other, and it reached uh, 3 millions. So, yeah, so it's a pretty good calculator. Uh, and, yeah, it's not small because each unit is small, but the entire calculator, I don't know what you want to, what number you want to reach, but it won't be really small, but I guess you expected it to be a little bit large so now let's see how each uh, cell works basically each cell has uh, three inputs oops one there one there and one there uh... this input here you will find it only on the first cell uh... from the second cell on you will just have a line of redstone going in here that will connect the different cells so as you um, as I told you, this cell here reaches only the number 3, so as you can imagine, each lever uh, is uh, has a value of 1. Now, uh, in this case, we have two outputs, again, from the second cell on, since we use this output here to connect it to the next, uh, we'll have it, uh, we'll have only one output. But I'll show you that later, when we'll build it. So, let me just grab a sign, 2, Actually, yeah, I'll put it next to the other so you guys can see better. Uh, also, a really important thing to know when you're building stuff like this is that you count from the right to the left. So, in this case here, we would have counted 1, 0, so 10, and uh, that converted from binary numbers is 2. So, if, if our two lamps will show uh, like this, uh, it, would, it will mean that the number that we got is... Um, is uh, 2 so yeah we can also put uh, what am I writing you can also put uh, normal numbers here just to make it easier I'll put them so you guys can see again if we flip any lever uh, it, its value is of 1 so it will light up the first one and 1 in binary numbers is also 1 in real life as I just told you so that's the only number that's the same uh, then how to light up the second one well we simply flip two levers this would be one plus one so obviously it makes two and again the uh, redstone torch with the number two on is light up uh, and as we just said there uh, since you come from the right to the left this would be one zero which is true also in real life uh, so yeah if you, if you build a calculator like this you wouldn't have the signs on here so you would have to say uh, you would have to do one, zero, ten, which is two. Then, uh, if uh, we flip the other lever on, it gives uh, 
both uh, it turns both on um, and that means that, that it's 2 plus 1 which is 3 uh, but obviously you still have to do a calculation which is pretty lame but if you just get rid of the signs you just see that it's 11 because both are on and so it's free so you don't have to do any calculation so it's it's a pretty efficient calculator uh, now I'll show you how to build them and how to hook them up uh, how to connect them and uh, yeah see you guys later so I guess we'll build it. So we'll start with two blocks like this, gap, other two blocks, block here in the middle, two blocks like that, block, 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 block. You'll view it from here, so it's sort of an R, uh, I guess. Block there in the first block, then two torches on the inside, torches on the inside again, torch there, so it's uh, symmetrical. Now torch there on the first block, torch there, torch there, and torch there. And that's it for the torches. Now you place redstone on every block that you can place it on. So every block that's free. Uh, then you place a row of three here that sort of crosses the entire circuit. Uh, blocks on the row of dust we just placed. Uh, blocks on these uh, first torches. Uh, come left. Uh, come to the left one. Then block on that torch. Block on that torch. Uh, Torch there in the gap, torch there, two pieces of redstone that's there, uh, two torches there. Uh, come up two blocks, delete the first block, uh, redstone dust there, and a block there so it doesn't interfere. And uh, this is your output, and uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, your two inputs obviously are here and here. And, um, yeah, let's just show you how to hook them up. Basically, uh, let's sort of imagine this is our first cell. As you can see, it has all three inputs. And this is our second cell, which will have only two inputs. And, all, and also the third will have only two inputs and so on. Basically, we simply, oops, connect it like this. And uh, that's it. So it's not really hard. Then when you get to the last cell, um... Uh, uh, instead of hooking up, hooking it up to the air or something like that, I don't know. Uh, this will be your another output, but only when you've reached the last cell. For example, if now I wanted to build a calculator with two cells, well, this will be it basically. And I would drag this wire here uh, to make a uh, to make another um, output. So now let's just see how they work together. Uh, because I really, there are some really important things to know. Uh, for example, before I told you that each lever on this first cell uh, is has a value of 1. So if we do this plus this, it's as if we were doing 1 plus 1. Basically, it doesn't work like this um, with, uh, with these other levers. Because this is val has a value of 2. And uh, well, yeah, each each to each lever here has a value of two. So if we do this plus this, we would be doing two plus two, and so on. Because on the third cell, if we wanted to add a third a third cell, we would add or well, we would have that each lever uh, has a value of uh, four, then a, then sixteen, thirty two, sixty four, one hundred twenty eight, two hundred fifty six, and so on. Um, so you would uh, get really quickly to high numbers which is cool now we'll just see if it works so basically I'll do I don't know 2 plus 1 should be 3 indeed it's 11 so it's free um, then I don't know we'll do 3 plus 2 which is 5 3 plus 2 and that's 101 which is 5 perfect and uh, yeah it works like this it has a maximum limit which is of 1 2 3 uh, 1 2 3 five, uh, 5 and 7 so you can only add um, numbers up to 7 
but yeah, if you add more, obviously you'll get more. And uh, well, this is basically it, and I'll see you guys later.